This is set number 30680, the AAT Polybag. It comes with 75 pieces, zero minifigures, and came out in the year 2024. It also retailed for $4.99 or $5, and today we'll find out if that is worth it. Now the bag art on this set is actually really nice. I like the Naboo background. It doesn't have anything in it, but it does really add to the set. The back of the bag is not very interesting at all, but you can see some of the pieces inside. So after building the set, I must say this is a really good poly bag. I really like how this AAT looks. It actually seems more like a microfighter build than a poly bag, and that's something I really wish with the set is that it included a battle droid or something. I feel like that would make the poly bag so much better, but I do think it is still a good value, and we'll get into that later. The set does actually have some play features, which is really cool. One of the main ones being that you can move the guns on it. The top gun can turn 360 degrees, and you can move it up and down, and you can also move the small side guns as well. Another play feature the set has is you can actually open the little hatch on the front. It doesn't lead anywhere, but that's kind of a nice feature they included. The set also has a nice design on the bottom where they tiled it off with these circular pieces so that when you slide it on the table, it is a lot easier than sliding it without them. Now, this would be a good time to look at the minifigures in the set, but the set really doesn't have any. And this is something I said before, I do wish it included a battle droid. That'd just be a really nice throw in and just a common battle droid would have been good. And I feel like it could have really helped with the value of the set because you're paying $5 for this poly bag and I feel like it would have been nice to have a minifigure. But speaking of value, I do think this set on its own is actually pretty good. It includes 75 pieces, so that's better than the 10 cents per piece that's kind of expected. And I think the build actually, like I said before, feels like a microfighter build, and those are like 10 to $15 now. So I do think this build is definitely worth it, and it looks really cool. My one complaint is that it looks a little squashed from the side. I don't know if that's just me, but it's just that's kind of what I thought when I saw it from that angle. But other than that, I think this is a great build, and you're definitely getting what you paid for. Too bad there wasn't a battle droid.